Okay, Mr. We we are to, it's clear where India is at the moment. Now the question is where we'll go next. Yeah. What lessons can we draw from the from the uh, from the experience of the Brahmos to inform where we need to go? Because you work with tech, you worked with very difficult technology, you worked with uh, sanction regimes, um, you you built tech indigenously entirely despite the sanctions and really the top class tech in the world in this domain, um, what lessons uh, should we take from the Brahmo's experience to inform our next steps on the, on the, on the defense tech? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the lesson from Brahmo's, uh, there are many. Uh, the first thing is, uh, Brahmo's is a, it's a very potent universal weapon. And, uh, uh, you know, the difference between UAV and the Brahmo's is, UAV will also work, but the Brahmos, it goes with brute force, impossible for anybody to stop it. But at the same time, the cost is more, missiles cost more, UAV cost much cheaper. In Brahmos, we have spent, uh, you see what happens, you cannot quantify it in the number of years or number of people or number of technology, it's very difficult. Uh, thousands of people had contributed in the success of Brahmos in various times. Uh, when we came up with the first version, then we came up with the second version. Second version means again we have upgraded the, uh, the range, capability, performance, accuracy. So, uh, and we conducted more than 130 plus, more than, more than 130 tests. So in every test, some or other parameter was improved. Now, the people, uh, the learning lesson was, uh, we always believed that, uh, you know, if you go to the L1, lowest price, then you will not get the best. You should always go to the T1, the technology, uh, the best technology. This is number one. Uh, another lesson which we learned in the Operation Sindur is, uh, sorry, I'm deviating from the main It's a very topic, important your point you're making. Don't necessarily go for the L1, go for the T1, go for the absolute best quality. We have to be T1. In fact, uh, there are many people, they say, but... Uh, there is always a confusion that how to factor in the price. You see, as we progress, uh, the mathematics will certainly come for the help. And we uh, would be able to come up with some equation which will tell that this is the best one. So we should consider technology also as very important thing. Coming to the Operation Sindur, uh, we are very happy that uh, Indian systems, not only Akash and Brahmos, but uh, electronic warfare, communication, uh, ammunition, our Indian made ammunition, and uh, Indian made radars, our AVAX, uh, Netra, they all have been used sometime in the foreground, sometime in the background. And they've been used against Chinese tech, against American tech, yes. and they've tried. So now it, it has given huge confidence to our armed forces that yes, Indian system, they walk, they deliver and uh, they are state of the art because in the conflict we were not fighting with pakistan please don't think that we were fighting with pakistan china turkey and azerbaijan and uh, of course the western supplied uh, equipment so fighting against these sophisticated equipments our indigenous systems have proved their metal and uh, we feel that now we will be getting more and more indian uh, designed developed you see, I'm not talking only about DRDO. DRDO is uh, it's a leader in the defense technology, but there are so many leaders in the niche technologies. They would come and they would offer their system and they would be considered positively by our users, Indian Armed Forces. And another thing which I want to tell is, you see, the companies, the defense companies, they have only one user, only one buyer. And uh, the shelf life of these companies is six months to one year, one and a half year, two year. Beyond that, it's very difficult for an uh, individual or a group of people to fund it infinitely. So, and if they don't get order uh, in one, one and a half year, they think of lo closing down. And uh, people do the funding. Uh, you see, when we talk about that, if the technology is good, many funds would be available. But uh, it doesn't happen in the practical life. So uh, if uh, something should be done, it should be done when the company is young. 
when it is in its infancy. So then we would be able to become the leader in the defense technology. I'm talking about the world, global leader. Otherwise, uh, we would be, you know, catching it's up. It's a very important always. point you're making because the Prime Minister in the Adapurum base made the same point that India fundamentally triumphed or did better than Pakistan and won this war or won Operation Sindhu fundamentally because of modern technology. Yes. Um, I'll, come, I'll come to you. Just want to add something. I just want to uh, tell one more very important point. We have got this online ecosystem, which is we have got the government PSUs, big uh, private companies, and small companies, startups. Now, uh, this is the time we need to integrate them because certain critical components are not available in India. They say for like sensors, one of the very important things, whether it is a missile or a drone, the sensors play a very key role. Otherwise, a drone is just a platform. So, we need a lot, lot of varieties of uh, sensors. So. Uh, that in the ecosystem we have to strengthen that and create wherever we have got you know those gap analysis we have to do what we cannot uh, uh, what we are importing from outside we should develop it here and then only we can uh, have a much better uh, on ecosystem in india for the future conflicts